All right, time for a story. <laughs> so as you know, I'm a swimmer and I love swimming. And people who love swimming work as a lifeguard. Not all the time, but most of the time. While the lifeguard, there is something that was invented called, or at least I call it. Um, I call it shot put, no, not shot put. I call it diving brick shot put. That's what I call it. So if you're not familiar with a diving brick, what it is is basically a brick that you hold on to and it takes you to the bottom of the pool. What diving brick shot put is, is where you run off. If you have a high dive, you use a high dive. Um, if you have a low dive, I guess you just use a low dive. But where you run off, in this instance, the high dive and throw the brick as far as you can. And no, there is no one in the pool. Goodness gracious, that'd be horrible. And yes, we were clocked in while we did this. <laughs> but only on days that were very empty. All the way empty, to be exact. Nonetheless, the guy who first introduced this to me was a guy named Matt Fletcher. It was like his third, maybe fourth year working there. It was my first, maybe second year working there, or summer. He invented it with a few other, uh, la, la, la. he invented it with a few other friends um, that also worked at this facility. The first time I tried it, I failed horribly. I couldn't make it out of the deep end. So at this facility, the diving, the diving well is perpendicular to the swimming lanes. So we could judge how far we threw this brick by what dark line for the swimming lanes that it landed on or in between. Now, um, Matt Fletcher, the guy who introduced me to this this game, um, he could get to like three or four lanes. And I, I was very impressed because the first time I did it, like I said, I couldn't make it out of the diving well. But later on that day, after a little bit of practicing and a little bit more technique, I was able to get maybe to like the first one and a half, two, two lane lines, or not lines, but the black lines. Also, there are no lane lines in the pool that would damage them. <laughs> no people, no lane lines. So the technique was to run off the diving board, the high dive, and to jump, not throw it right after you jump off, but at your peak um, of where you are in the in the air and then you would basically just like chest press as hard as you could at about 45 degree angles it'd send the brick flying now I would say it was probably the second year it was the year after I learned this game that I played it again and I ended up hitting a yellow rope that held up the flags for the backstrokers and it just snapped at first I was kind of freaked out because I'm like oh crap I'm gonna get in trouble but luckily there was some slack on the rope so I was able just to tie it and it was fine Again, the only reason I was able to play this game was because at this facility, it was very, very relaxed, very, very, I don't know, everything was just chill. We got food, we got hot meals. The people who worked there were all swimmers and we all knew each other. So yes, we jacked around at times, but I was never ever concerned about the safety of the patrons swimming there. We always had an eye on them and we could all get to them if we needed to add a save. Only one save out of four summers of working there, only one save. And it was not very theatrical. It just jumped in, got to get out. Nonetheless, this is an awesome game. If, this is the big if, you have the opportunity to play this, play it low key. Pretty fun though. Um, like I said, I think my best, like the second year after I played it was probably about two and a half lines maybe three. Our diving wall was very, very long. If you ever end up playing this game, let me know down below what you were able to get to, maybe what distance that was. Um, I didn't tell you to do this, by the way. I just told you about a game I invented. I didn't invent that I played. Out of many more lifeguarding stories where that came from, so if you're ever up for more, just look for them. They'll be coming. <laughs>